having us very special guest and uh tumekuwa tukishare the links tumekuwa tukishare the posters all through kila mahali and uh, i know we are so much expectant that there's so much something that you're going to learn today from our guest um and also we apologize that last week we did not manage to uh run the the show due to unavoidable circumstances but we are thanking god that finally we are here and uh, we are ready to go so kwale ambao wanajiuliza what is this all about the hope circle hope, the hope circle is just the show that was being created to give hope to the hopeless to be the voice to the voiceless to encourage someone out there and they feel that there is hope there is hope there, as the way the saying goes that there is always light at the end of the, the tunnel so if you are there and you're in a place that you feel like you're being discouraged you feel like uh, uh, you're being pressed or maybe something happened along the way and you feel like this is the end of you yeah that is why the hope circle is here to give you hope to give you hope to bring hope to the hopeless and uh, because we believe that you have been called to bring hope. So at the end of this show I want you to be expectant. Remember to share, like and comment. Invite your friends into today's program. Uh, tell them that we are live. Uh, we are live. So in just a few without so much ado as someone say let me just introduce our very own guest. Our very own Mr. Evans aka Edo Santos. Jina langu ni Evans Mayo. Nilizaliwa mwaka 1999 kwa maana ya 1999 in a village known as Simoto Village in Moiben Division, Moiben Sub County, Moiben Constituency that is uh, was in Gishu County. That is in 1999 and then I went to a school known as Shea Primary School between the year 2002 and 2007. That is nilikuwa nursery between 2002 and 2004 before I went to Standard 1 in 2005. Then in 2006 I rewinded in class 1. Then in 2007 I went to uh, standard 2. In 2008 I was transferred to a certain school known as Chebororo Primary School in Elgemara Quet County. That is after uh, it was noticed in the schools that uh, I had some problems that is a uh, visual impairments kwa maana shida macho so the teachers recommended that I be transferred to Chebororo Primary School. Again in that school they didn't know that uh, it was it was a special school but they didn't know that it was not for the visually impaired people. So they took me to Chebororo Primary School which was um, a school special school for the physically handicapped. Uh, we call it a PH in short form. So I was taken to Chebororo in 2008 then I studied in a normal school that is Chebororo because uh, no one kno- knew that it was a special school for the uh, physically handicapped. Then it was not until uh, 2008 later on that was around uh, September uh, there was an organization that came to Chebororo Primary School which was doing free eye st- eye treatment so they checked my eyes and they said okay this person uh, there is a school known as Chepsigot Primary School so we recommend you to go to that school then i was given a transfer letter i went to Chepsigot Primary School which is uh, now a special school for the visually impaired Okay, at, at what uh, level? That, that yes, oh, it was in standard 3. Uh-huh. Yeah, because I was in session between st- uh, nursery and standard 2. Mm. So in 2008, I went to Jebraro standard 3. Then I was transferred to Chepsi God 2009, January, when I was in standard 4. So I studied in Chepsi God uh, between 2009 and 2013. And now at least Chepsi God was the school which was integrated which means we had both the sighted and the visually impaired students so yes so we were integrated and i was at that school until 2013 when i finished standard 8 then i went to form 1 the same same school but uh, high school now that is chapsigot high school that was in the year 2014 before trans- uh, before i transferred to st francis kapenguria in the year 2015 then i joined from 2015 then the same same happened until 2017 when i finished my form 4 now kapenguria is now a purely visually impaired school yeah. there's no integration there so i was in that school for around 3 years then 2017 i finished then i rewinded in 2018 because of unavoidable circumstances yeah, yeah. 
so I stayed from there. Then I stayed to uh, until 2019. I uh, know 2019 actually 2021. Then that's when I joined campus and as in you know it was. Maybe, maybe let, let me let, let us talk about uh, your. Uh, mm-hmm. How was journey? The journey through easy primary school. Na pelekuwa hi, na pelekuwa hi. Yes, uh, of course, nikuwa nakujia hapo kwa sababu ni safari ya, I, I normally call it a visual VI journey. Mm. Being a VI is a condition whereby it doesn't allow you to to have clear vision. For example, uh, you can be either short-sighted or, or long-sighted. So for my case, I was born with that short-sightedness. So, ina manisha kuwa si kupata any problem nikiwa mdogo wala nini i was just born that way then when i was in primary school now the teacher started uh, noticing that problem that actually this person or this student cannot see properly so the blackboard was the uh, short sightedness so i used to to ask some the teachers to read for me whatever they have written on the board so unakuta mwalimu anakusoma anago gombanisha gombanisha hapo I was until a certain teacher, and I salute to him when I Francis. Realized that we want to fund it on Sumboya Sanana, Kumbago Nashidaki. That's when I was taken to a certain hospital, Kule Sabatia. Kule Sabatia Sasan Kambua Kidogo, Machongo, Hayawezi Kufanyanin, who improve in terms of Nikitumia spectacles. That my eyes cannot, my sight cannot improve, which means I continue the way I, I was. So that's when I was transferred to Chebororo Primary School after this, this recommendation of this teacher known as Mr. Francis. Yeah, I can recommend Kwambu in the Chebororo. And you know, the person who took me to that place was my grandfather because he knew that place. So even him, Alif Kriya Kwamba, it was a special school for the visual impairment. Unfortunately, Kufikoku. Yes, yes, it was integrated. Uh-huh. Or you are just okay with it? No, transfer it was not a big problem. Mm. But the problem was that, that was worrying my parents was that we attend a wapi each Baroro Primary School. Mm-hmm. Then my grandfather, because he his roots come from there, Akajua Ahpan Taka kwa his sister. He had a sister from another father in that near that Nikaribuna Chibaroto Primary School. So he assured the parents that we did not attend a Karibuna kwa mutu munyanamjua. So kufika chiburoro primary now, the teacher, I, il bidu wa elezo mwalimu kwambo wiki jana, hao ni blackboard vizuri. That was, it was made an arrangement that I sit in front. So nika wana, uh, mutu mwenye naka mbele kwa ki darasa. But still there was a problem. Yes, niko mbele a class in terms of kuka. But still, ubawa yu nika ni vizuri. Nikiwa na maana, the teachers were, uh, uh, ile handwriting ya mwalimu kula ubawa, iko chini mimi naona ni ndugu ndogo bado ina maanisha kwamba lazima nikaribie zaidi so it had to took the intervention of teachers uh, to dictate notes for me not actual notes but in class 3 at that time so no see notes at ilikuwa ni dictate whatever they were dictating kama ni nini they dictated or ni somo kwa textbook because i used to read on a textbook siko na shida na kusoma kwa textbook and i remember that was my turning point kwanza kusoma kwanza nilianza kujulia hii shule ya primary school Yes. So, kusoma sasa, nika, nika shika shika line at least. I remember at the end of the year, before I went to Jepsi Got, I was in a class of 93 students or pupils. Na nikawa position 3 at that time. Wow. Sasa, unawana wow. yunikuwa ni yeah. mwajabu give you Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so, yu number 3 yu, uh, wakiwa na soma list, the 3 uh, students. Because remember, it was two stream class. The one who was leading, I'll come to class three west, and then another one from class three east, which means I was number two in my class, class standard three east. Overall, I was number three. Recall the odds. Yes, with a four, with a min mark of four hundred and three marks. Wow. I remember, I, I so can't forget. Everything is possible. It is. It is. Regardless of the visual impairment. Yes. Yes. It is very possible. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that was the end of Chebororo Primary School. And mm-hmm. Then I went to Chepsigoro now. 
at least you have six got levels. That's standard four now. Term three, that two thousand and one, term term one. Again, my grandfather is the one who is taking me because he knows steps he got. Uh, he had a sister who was married there. His sister who was married there. So which means he had travelled a lot. I got on a joke. Jeff got now there was no worries worries because I was going to to stay in a boarding school for the first time in the history of my life. So I went to Jeff Sigurd boarding school. Remember it's integrated. Uh, being in a boarding now was a big challenge. Yes, we are with uh, I am with my visual uh, fellow visual impaired, uh, impaired pupils, but now uh, this is another in, it's another environment. Different environment. Yes. Siju mm -hmm. moja VP. I will copy. I remember I cried my first day. I just you know, pretend kwamba ah you know no more but kido kido kono kono enyo it is be it's a reality now that Nico boarding. Yeah. Then I cried. I had to cry because hey. Because you are now yeah, adapting boarding. to the new environment. And it's a boarding. Uh, boarding yes. uh, yeah. What were the challenges? Like the challenges with your pale boarding school? The first thing is that Chapsi God is a place where it is rocky. You can describe it as a rocky place. Mm -hmm. Second thing, it is hot because in the valley of Elgimarquet County. So it is a valley. It is hot. Then thirdly, ni you again to kawaii the general again. Kwamba hey, si si jua ni takaja abo. So ila environment asa na wajuli zasa sanda kwa ni kupa jina ima wasa si. Alafu ya pili, I assume that kuwa boarding kuta kuna ilo kukumbanisho na either the matrons, the teachers or anyone. So yu ndi kani changanya abo ni kafanya ni ka ni kawa zi shiki kitu. Then ni kaenda sasa class the next the next day sasa. Then I thank God that the choir class, uh, I was jovial. You know, wherever I go, I say, I go to Mnyonga Sana. Yes, I always become jovial. So, at least m the monitor of that class at the time, I still remember her name, I'm going to Gladys Chirono. Yes, so she used to dictate for me the notes. Yes, so she dictated m the notes until. Uh, at, at, uh, still for the visual impaired? No, she was not for the visual impaired. So you went to a normal school? No, Jeff is an integrated. Okay. Being an inter integrated means mm. that uh, we stay with the people who are sighted. Uh -huh. Yes. From the word integrate, uh -huh. uh, right. so, so I think the reason why Chips got uh, did the integration was that to, to make us feel uh, that we are being no. we are not being left alone. Yes. So they decided against the odds that let's integrate this school and uh, at least these students will feel that they are part of the society. Yes. So, Jeff Sigurd, I didn't find any problems in terms of how to, 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 to maneuver in classes because I already have been introduced to my visually impaired uh, students, fellows. So, see, Kona was was what up, Sana. He spoke to Kona challenges too, Moja Moja took Kamaiza Sakona Blackboard. That was the major issue, Kwanzia High School, Primary Paka Campus, Kona Blackboard, plus the White Wooden Campus. Yes, that was the part of prim primary now. And I remember I used to, to I was always top three. Sijai pita up. You know, I said, I'm going to you. I remember, let me tell you a story. Top three. Let me tell you a, 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 a bit of a story about uh, the same school Jeffs got. Uh -huh. In the year 2009, around time three, the parents of that area realized that these borders are always stopping in their classes. Almost the whole classes, you find borders are topping. They decided, waka fanya mkutano, waka juliza, nini inafanya watu anangoze kila siku. It was agreed that there is a teacher who teaches us more than their pupils, because we are in boarding. So they decided to to trans to, to, to force a transfer for this teacher. Uh, fortunately, this teacher agenda. Like in the 2010, to get back to the Paka kaji ambia sasa, enye, aiko yu mwali mwani alikuwa nafunza watu. I remember my matron, my matron, uh, the matron now said, uh, these people, most of them came from academies. Well, in the real sense, I have never gone to academy school. I have never. I have been into public schools since the inception of education. Meisha sasa. Wow.
that is in 2013. My next step was to join high school. Then after KCP was released, then later on the schools were released for my selection, that is it. Then kidogo kidogo, naona ah, ni mwaito shula mbae mwa nyesi jependa, doni li chagua, but mwa nyesi kuipenda. I had initially chosen uh, to go to Thika High School for the visual impaired in Thika, Nairobi, in Kiavuka on Tindu, Nairobi. But unfortunately it didn't happen, so kaito shula mbae mwa nyesi jataka. Because I always stayed in my grandfather's home. I have never I I always stayed in my grandfather's home. So he told me why umesha pata shule. Kaambia yeye bwana hiyo shule nimeona lakini sitaki. I don't want to go to that school because they can't understand my problems or they will take time before understanding my problems. So he asked me where do you want to go? I told him I prefer Chepsi God. I prefer Chepsi God because at least they are uh, they are in it's a school which is near to a special school and they understand a bit of it. So he, asked, he told me, okay, it's not a big problem. But it's a big school. My mind does not like that school. Stagile shule nyene kikaa ka every muni kianguka shule shule muni na nuliza mbono na anguka na miss day. Yes, yes, yes. And also, someone will own and come. You are a burden. Yes. Have you ever felt like you've been a burden? Because most of the people that are living with special needs, huh? mm -hmm. most of the people feel like. They are a burden. Have you ever felt for once? Wakati ulipokuwa shule, unapelukuwa shule kama kitu, kama hivu unaitaji msaada? Hai, kidogo kwangu unitofauti. Licha kwa visual impaired. You know this brightness helped me a lot. Kuhiku top, top three, top three, top three klasiku. It was never a burden to anyone because we mwenye utakuja kunuliza, hii story unafanyaji. Huu napitangaji English. Jua, I used to pass English and Kiswahili. In primary, come on in social studies, theory, vitu kama hizo. So for my case, I never let me let myself down. Hata kidogo. Because licha ya wemu kutanisome notes yako, notes kutanisome yoni kawaida. Kama niki kuambia. If I don't have a textbook, you'll read uh, the notes for me. But when I have the textbook, I'll not require your services because I have already what I want. Ikiwa ni stories a blackboard, uh, nita, uh, utanisome yoni. Unless that is the only part ambayo nitakuwa naona kamba ni memsumbua mutu. Lakini nitakusumbua aja wakati wei mwenye ontago kupita. You depend on me. So you are telling us that you've never had any challenges. Like in times ya kupata msaada wakati ulipokuwa shulen. In high school na primary. In high school. Ya itoke, ya itoke. Because many people understood me. Alafi ya pili hiyo kukua top 3, top 3. So hili nsaidia sana kwamba. Kwa mba tu, kuna mtu alikuwa na jiambio kwa kili yake, hata nisipo msaidio jamaa, hata nishinda. Yani, umaijiweka kwa mba, uu jamaa hata nisipo so much inyo unambie ye, hata enda kutafuta pali mingi na hata kushinda badu. So, yu mentality likuwebo kwa watu. So, ilikuwa ngumu sana, mtu wakataya kukusaidia. And you know, I always depended on the opposite gender. That is the ladies. Because men watakuwa, wewe, wewe, unaniambio nini buwana. Minu kusabini, nuti nani kwa nataka nini mcheza mpira inji huko. So I used to okay. get ladies. So ladies ndo wame kusaidia sana. Sana, sana, sana. Wow. Sana, sana, sana. Wow. Okay. Lakini sasa, eh, upanda waku, hiyo ni primary nime kuambia na high school, because uh, siku wana shida, but campus ndo niliwana hizi shida sasa. Yes. Campus was. Acha tuonge hii uh, ya campus. Campus hiko sasa. Then how, how has been your journey through campus? Yes, so first of all, before I go to campus, eh, um, I remember someone, uh, my aunt, you know, my mother for that case, they didn't pay my fees because uh, my uncle told him, Uye kijana, nita mshalmesha yeye. So my uncle said, okay, let me take you to campus. Plus my aunt. So my aunt asked, he's like, untaa kuingia campus gani wewe? Kambea multimedia university. That was in 2017. Mbigo form 4. Mbea inataka ningia multimedia university of Kenya. Taka multimedia yeye. Nikambia it's because I believe that school or that university produces a good graduates from journalism. Akaniambia bus. Wewe soma, ukimaliza, nita kupeleka multimedia. And I remember I forced to go to multimedia. That was in 2019. I tried first of all 2019 but it failed. 2020, corona ika ingia. So I didn't go to multimedia in 2020. Then 2019, 2021 now. September 2021. 
then I went to multimedia. But before I went to multimedia now, there was a big problem ahead of me. I'm telling my auntie, I have never gone to Nairobi alone. And I'm here, don't worry, you will not get lost, so long as you have the phone. But this notion of Nairobi, ukendo uko, ukitoa simu unaibiwa, ukitoa simu unaibiwa. Sasa mi najuleze kwa kili yangu. How can, I, how can I go to Nairobi with these stories and ambazo ziku kwa kili yangu kwa mba utaibiwa? Uki uspoka vizuri kwa simu. And the phone is the only thing that can help someone in Nairobi. I tell my, uncle, uh, my auntie, okay, so you unupatie the brother to your husband now, which is my uncle, anipeleka Nairobi juwe amayenda, amayenda alikuwa chuka university. Tia anapito Nairobi. Anenabia, apana, apana, you will not get lost. Just go. It was not until the 14th uh, September on a Tuesday. Sa kumina mbili asubui. Uh, not actually sa kumina mbili. Around sa moja asubui. Niko Eldore Town. I'm going to Nairobi for the first time alone. You know, I remem- alone. remember I've gone to Nairobi as a student. Yes. Yes. But this one, this time Unenda is mui mwenye kabisa. Unenda kutafuta shule. Yeah. Tayari nimesha apply. Usha apply. Yeah. But that, unenda kuitafuta ikuwa api yeah. ndo uingie. I've already had it in Ongata Rongai. Yes. My auntie tells me, stage ya Ongata Rongai, ukifika afya center Nairobi, unafuka tu barabara tu unawona stage. Minaenda sayu. Nafika na kuru. At, I sta- at that time, at that moment, yes. wakati lukuna toka Eldoret, yes. ukienda Nairobi peke yako. Yes. What was in your mind? What was in your mind? Ul- uliwai kuwa na ila mafikiria na nis- nikipotea. What if I got I myself lost. into the hands of people that are not uh, friendly? Mm, yeah, yes. friendly. It was there. Kwanza ya usingizi ilipotea usikuwa kwa mke yu Tuesday. Mechaji simu yangu vizuru tu. Alafu na gajambiwa jeni lale juni mambiwa ni na muka five. Lakini uzingizi ilipotea saa sito. Na muka naona simu ilikuwa saa sito na dakika 42. <laughs> because you know you are traveling alone. Yes. And it's Hakuna msaada. Eh, na ni na, na, na Nairobi. Si, mm. tau lingine. Nge kwa kama ni mataunga makapsa ba TV. Ah, nge kwa beto. So, mi nafika Nairobi. Na, nafika na kuru naanza kukolo watu wangu nyaku Nairobi. Moja na niambia buwana. Ay, ya, 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 niko kazi. Datoka five. Havia hata five minutes. Na mi nataka niko rongai yo five. Siju hata rongai ni wapi. Na pigia mungina mungina na niambia hako kitengela. Lakini ikikuwa, sasa umuta na kuambia ikikuwa ngumu, nitakuja. Why do, do mbona wei umuta ungoje ikikuwa ngumu, ndi wakuja. Nika juulize maswali sana. Na wei umutu ninaibwa sana, ninaibwa wangu. Yani tunashare friends. <laughs> Sia tunumutu mbali. At least nika, nika answer kukonnect another route. Nika pata my, one of my friends. Anafanya kazi karibu na Afia Center. Kana niambia usikuwa na maswali kufika hapu unipigia. Sasa hiyo kupigia sasa ndio sina hiyo nguvu bado kwa sababu the moment naamini kwamba nikitoa simu hivi itaibiwa naenda na hivyo ndio nimepotea pia na mimi eh na hivyo ndio simu imeend so nafika Nairobi saa 7 mchana alafu simu imeweka kwa mfuko ya 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 my coat nimepigwa lakini sishiki Nimepigwa sishiki. 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 Kwa sababu unaogopa no. niko Nairobi. Niko na, na ni Nimeambiwa first. nikifika Nairobi simu inaibiwa. Inaibiwa. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> because unajua you notice you are you have some uh, uh, problem with some visuals. Not problem actually. Eh. Anyone. Anyone. Eh ukitoa tu simu weke maskio hivi inaenda. It's not juu mkora juu ya uone. Ajui. Haizi juu hiyo. So uliingia Nairobi ukiwa na ile Mentality, Mentality. that we can get Nairobi, yeah. simu itaibiwa. itaibiwa. Mm. So, nika, nika wanaona, nika wana, uh, my mind tell, told me that. Uh, maybe, maybe just because of time, let us just summarize. Mm-hmm. Yes, and then utuambia how your journey in high in uh, college imekua, usha fika Nairobi. Did mm. you call that um, that friend? Yes, of course. Haka kukujia. Dileka kwa hiyo streets of Zafia Center, hapo nika wana kwa security, kuna security, kuna kajua hapa wezi ibiwa. <laughs> security kwa karibu na wewe. Nika mpigia jamaa na kambia nimesha fika. Kani ambia nikuwa ndani umesha, eh, simu imesha henda juu. Aije pokeleo. <laughs> Nika ambia apana yendi mahali ya simu. Ni ile tu mwenye siku utaka nitoe kwanza. Before ni simame. Then sasa haka nipeleke rongai. Uh, that is Multimedia University of Kenya. Kesho yaki. Then kufika kwa sasa. The problem zina. Utaka kwanza sasa. Mina vika shule hivi. Uyo matro eh, nini hostel manager. At a certain lady anakana niambia wewe. Wapi karatasi nyo wana invoice ya hostel, kambi ni mepewe ipeke yaki. 
ai kidogo kidogo ananiambia nikaambia sawa shida si yangu ni this my first time kwa kufika campus mimi sijaingia campus bado ananiambia so do, do, do you want to say that it's my fault nakaambia no it's neither of our fault but it's you, you who have not understood me but kesho yake sasa nikijaza hiyo karatasi hivi akaona eh kijana ana inamia karatasi sana akaniuliza oh, do you have visual impairment nikaambia yes akaniambia oh sorry mbona ukuniambia hivyo jana nikaambia because you could not hata ningekwambia jana ungenielewa bado ungenielewa it was not until you look you, you see for yourself huyo kwanza akakuwa friend kwanza hii siku kwanza huyo huyo story yake ikafungwa hivyo ile campus sasa unaambia mtu you know it's a white board of course unaambia mtu akusomee whatever the lecturer amandika Sometimes ina kwanga dictation but sasa kuna ile vitu ambavyo lecturer akitamka unasikia vitu ametamka si hivyo wewe unaandika ni vingine ni accent ya for example lugha kama kikuyu hivi yeah i remember certain lecturer amesema uh, around mimi nasikia around kumbe ana maana aloud yes so ni maandika vitu zangu mpaka akaandika kwa whiteboard kaambia oh that is it so ile mtu anakuambia oh wewe kwani huu ni whiteboard na imeandikwa vizuri nikaambia haionekani na kujua sasa niko mbele si hata nakaa nyuma sijaeka nyuma mimi kwa class niko mbele huko wanafunzi karibu 200 i force myself kuka mbele huko so ananiambia ati kwani huu nikaambia it was not until nikapata jamaa fulani ndio team coach eh ambaye alinielewa in, in fact to council ku book na the same room from the next semester but the same same problem i remember as at any time you know i used to engage my lecturers before any semester begins nikijua kuna unit ambayo naona iko na itakuwa na ngumu fulani hivi I, i go to the lecturer ambaye anafunza hii unit naambia bwana lecturer i will is have a, a problem with eyes and i show and i show him my yes so i show him my disability card from the national council the moment he sees that card hivi anasema yenyewe nimekuelewa so ukontakaje naambia sasa ukifunza funza pole 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 usiharikishe vinyo mzoe na naambia okay that is good because you have come to tell me first to tell me faster nini mapema but there is a lecture some day nimejaribu kusema hivyo hapo ndio nikajua kumbe dunia si si kila mtu anataka anga mchezo nikamwambia lecture madam i wanted to talk to you i call kwanza alikuwa na haraka kwanza ananiambia ati uh, not nikamwambia madam i want to get you nikamwambia do you have my number nikamwambia yes Why don't you call me later? I'm in a hurry. Ngambe okay. Mimi baadaye naenda kupiga jioni na naambia madam, hiyo unit ni unafunza. I always engage my lecturers in any unit ambayo naona kuna ugumu. So hii yako pia ni one of the units ambazo nimeona kwamba kuna kutatokea na challenges kidogo. Kaniambia, so what do you want me to do? Kaniambia, I wanted to, to to get into touch with me such that tukiongea tuki tukifanya story. She understand that you are visually impaired. She didn't. She didn't. She didn't. She didn't. Until okay. the first time I finished I finished that unit yo end of semester hako ni leo mpaka hiyo siku alikuwa anaambia like she never understood she that you were visually impaired i was about to take action but i said okay but did you tell her i told her very very clear in fact i oh, told but her so she knew but she you didn't. told her but she ignored i think she ignored that she she so it, it was a burden kwamba hii nimefunza university karibu 18 years na hii anatoka hapo leo hauja kuniambia vitu kama hizi jo aliniambia what do you want me to do nikamwambia i want you to understand me say so, how understand you how Remember uh, unit ni alikuwa anafunza ilikuwa ni TV nini ilikuwa ni stories za broadcasting. Anakuambia I want you to go uh, anatuma to class rep. I want you to go to the studios and record yourselves because um, I want to see your assignments. So unajua unaenda ku record kwa camera kama hii sasa. Unapewa auto auto cue ama the teleprompter. Sasa teleprompter iko mali mbali sana kwangu. Sasa mimi naambia lecturer I cannot see that thing. Mpaka un, unless unipatie system nyingine ya kusoma hiyo news. Naambia atek at, ananiambia sasa hiyo it, it can be enlarged nikamwambia no it's not the problem is not, not about being enlarged iko mbali hiyo kitu mimi ni short sighted na maanisha kwamba lazima nikaribie hiyo kitu eh so lazima nikaribie hiyo kitu akaniambia wewe soma vinyo utasoma mtamaki mtamak tu nijelewa nikamwambia sawa so i had to draft my own news kwa simu yangu na naanza ku i not actually grammar let's say um, understand the, the concept of the story So nilikuwa nasoma vitu nyingi kwa simu yangu mpaka zingine hata zina zinapotea lakini niko on the context of the story. Mpaka wewe mwenyewe mwenyewe unaoacha hiyo news hautasema kwamba jamaa ame miss mahali. Jo nilikuwa I am the one who drafted the story. Hiyo nikaenda hivyo mpaka wewe lecture hiyo unit kaisha hivyo. But ile trolling iko. I remember we were discussing some politics you know 
in journalism you are it's all about uh, interest so me for my case i'm always interested in political stories and sports so we're discussing some politics someone tells me sasa wewe utanipeleka wapi wakati auoni wewe mwenyewe kwanza na na that that was come again come again yes sir. what it was on a group discussion uh, yes. in, a, in the whatsapp group so we're discussing about the 20 2022 general elections mm. to asagas last year mm-hmm. so kuna ile kubishana bishana mm. so, you, know, you are analyzing politics yeah, yeah. but someone doesn't like the way you analyze your politics mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. the way you are analyzing your politics touches someone else mm. whose candidate you are not supporting mm. i was not supporting anyone but the way i was analyzing the politics it looks like this person knows something about this politics mm. but mbona hii politics inatuchoma so mtu anaanza kukutusi alafu anakuambia nikaambia sasa ipo siku tutapatana i remember i told her that it was she was a lady i told her there is a day tutapatana mahali tu na ananiambia wewe mwenyewe uoni kwanza tutapata utanipeleka wapi na utanipata wapi statement yes that statement how did it hit you nikajiuliza maswali sana mambo yes. yote mambo yote sana na maanisha ananionanga kama mimi siwezi kufanya chini yeye anafanya oh god hawezi hmm? sorry so nikaambia hii haina shida hiyo yote hiyo because in journalism and she never regretted she that never, statement she ne- she ne- even and she's apolo- still okay she even never ap- apologized even apologizing she didn't come for apology and i just said okay it's, it's normal because uh, journalism is all about wewe uta, uta, utasema kitu ambacho hakimpendeze mtu it doesn't please anyone na huyo mtu akujui so expect utatusiwa kwa mitandao ama in whatever place you go kwamba wewe oh, oh, hujui kufanya hivyo hujui kufanya hivyo na yeye mwenyewe akipewa hizi fanya hiyo kitu unaona so nikajiambia it's known as developing a thick skin have a thick skin mapema kwa mtu mwenye unamjua jua hawa tunakuwa na wajua maana itafika siku ambayo utatroliwa na watu ambao hawakujui unaona hiyo sasa and that, I, i was prepared psychologically yeah. i knew it i knew it yeah. i knew that was live in campus from the first time i went to campus we like we was tell manager again let us to yake mingi mingi paka huyu mwanafunzi i was always prepared for that even i remember do, i, I, do, I do, you, do you do you call some grudges against that lady i don't i don't yeah so you forgave her because when we went back to school on january mm. after attachment now she never talked to me and i never talked to her so she, after that in incident she yes. never came closer to you in fact we were not close she never talked. we were not we were not close to her again mm. we were not close to her but nile tu aliona tu huyu kijana ameni gonga zaidi you know when when debating something uki hit mtu anaanza kukutusi badala ya kubali kwamba umemgonge the, the, the word that she told you she was being haunted by it yes something like that because yeah. he, he always she always saw that i i was uh, sitting in front na hiyo nilikuwa ni kitu lazima hiyo hata nikipata hata kama mbele imejaje naweza kile kitu mbele au hiyo line yote mbele because it was a must for me i believe it was a must for me to sit in front so nyinyi mmekuja tumejaza hapa na mnajua vizuri tu so huyo demo huyo msichana alichukulia kwamba huyu kijana huwa anakaanga mbele na anajua of course haonangi vizuri so akaanza kuzuku control na hiyo statement kwamba wewe utanipata wapi ama utanipeleka wapi wakati wa uoni ndafanyeni mtu mnyaoni and she was supported she was not alone she was not alone she was uh, supported by her friends then i said okay that that's no more talk about discrimination discrimination is why real. are people discriminating people with special needs because they think that uh, they don't have that capability of doing something you know hiyo kitu iko kuanzia uh, not even in schools alone even in jobs employment in seeking so you can't find job because uh, someone just tells you why sasa nikikopatia kazi utaona vizuri yeah yeah hmm? uh, yeah also someone told me that mm-hmm. there is also a friend of mine when nili host just uh, a while ago yes. akaniambia the challenges yes i by the i love the fact that we are physically impaired yes. but mm-hmm. you have taken it upon yourself kuenda ku study media exactly yes So aliniambia one of the challenges that you, you people go through is wakati unapoenda kutafuta kazi mm-hmm. someone else comes and tells you now how will you do this do work, this work? Yes. because there's the, your, your visual impaired 
na amesikia vizuri unajua unaweza tangaza mm. he doubts he or she doubts whether mm. you can read not like you kutangaza hata the problem is not kutangaza ju unaweza tangaza through fantasies you know by just saying rais william ruto amesema hivi na hivi hata kama hajasema hivyo you can just you can just say so but ile huyu mtu ana doubt ni je unaweza kusoma can you read whatever you want to read because studios is journalism is all about writing and reading that's what makes people doubt whether you can do it or not no one says and that's uh, what people told me when i wanted to study media the teachers told me we sisi tume some education na education ko ndio the only way ambayo unaweza succeed as a visual impaired people a uh, person oh, okay who told you who told you that ah, many teachers many teachers oh some of your tutors ah huh? yes walikwambia usiende in media especially in high school yeah you know primary they you know primary they encourage me by saying mm-hmm. he is our journalist so they never said who's in doko so i but think the school. foundation the foundation started in primary yes. and then you grew with it and you believe that i am a journalist yes by profession yes. yeah by calling equal not uh, not equal profession mm. just calling so mimi nafika high school unasikia mwalimu anakuambia so how can you read news i remember my principal told me so mm. when i went to collect my certificate nambe mm. evans um i decide kufanya kitu gani nambe you know that time there was this bbi then i told the principal nobody can stop reggae i remember i say it too nobody can stop reggae yeah. and i remember which reggae are you talking about can be the reggae of journalism nobody can tell me what to do about it i have decided against all odds that i'll try to go for journalism can be so unajua sasa news ikileta breaking news utasoma haja haraka haraka can be principal you were just describing in his office the way news is being read paka na gaji ulizo my guest to do mwenye eh bad the sasa na kaji pata campus when i graduated recently some two weeks one week ago the same same teachers are coming and telling me congratulations my students congratulations my student you have made it you have made it after after kuona ni kama uwezi yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah i think people celebrate your success more yes. when asahau sana the things that you've been through yes they also they forget that they were the one who were against it eh kwa sababu eh people normally do the celebrations after you have passed the test they believe oh who jamaa is where is your story at the end of the day when they see that we umeanza kupenya wanaanza ku unasikia support inaanza kukuja sasa go unasikia mtu anakwambia go my student you are the, you are my student you are nini kaambia walimu it is normal it is normal i have gone against what your wishes now i am a journalist i can do whatever the barriers. yes whatever the other journalists can yes, do yes now you've graduated yes. there is someone somewhere there who is living with a uh, special needs uh, mm-hmm. any kind of special needs yes. and then they feel like maybe this is the end of my life when they because me i love the hope circle because when we bring in people and they share their story mm-hmm. someone someone somewhere out there who will be hearing the story they feel encouraged they feel motivated and they feel like if this person made it if he did it I am also able to do it. So I just want you to encourage someone maybe to break the barrier because we are in the breaking barriers. Because you have broken every barrier. Yeah, ume enda against all odds. Yes. You have graduated. Yes. You are now a degree, yes. <laughs> a graduate. Yes. Yes. Kuna mtu wako uko nje anajihurumia anasema mimi oh siwezi 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 breaking barriers. Kitu cha kwanza ambacho watu wanafaa kujua ni kuwa uh quad disab- disabled is not the end of life especially with the parents who have disabled children whether it's physically handicapped whether it's visually impaired hearing impaired those things is not the end of life the first thing is that you as a parent you must accept that you have gotten that child mm. secondly you as a child or a person who lives with visually impaired with any disability be yourself accept yourself and accept the situation that you are visually impaired or you are any kind of disability and accept and go on with whatever you want to do and follow your heart never allow someone to dis- discourage you take for example uh, i'm not the only person who is uh, in the media industry for uh, who is living the, in visual impairment i have a person in a certain university in Nairobi known as Tangazo University who your sister is totally blind what your sister stories are what your sister stories are mimi naweza ona i can me i can work in eldoret i can work in nairobi i can work in anywhere 
but that one he has to be guided he's a total blind you know visual impairment we have two categories we have the visual with the low vision and the and the total blind so this person is total blind but she reads the uh, news she does the journalism this squeezy mtu wa visual impaired aisko na wasiwasi kwamba atasomaje kuna technology imekuja visual impaired can use uh, smartphones through a system known a software known a, kuna kitu inaitwa uh, talkback it allows a visual impaired person to use smartphones the same same happens to computers and the laptops there is a software known as nvda juice so any visual impaired person or any person with disability can do anything that he or she wants to do see the stories as a man is that when your father is a farmer you become a farmer when your father is a king you become a king no follow your heart be yourself and be your own boss eh, don't allow anyone to to start uh, manipulating manipulating your mind that oh usipo ukienda hivyo utafail mimi nimeenda nimefail sangapi you are not graduate sometimes i always post my let me tell you something about what i do sometimes in facebook sometimes i post my previous photos nikiwa studio studio to whether it's what attachment or my former university studio and someone tells me congratulations he, he or she, that person thinks that i've gotten job already but in the license si tepata kazi eh niko to studio tu nimepiga tu picha tu but someone tells me congratulations i remember just juice to simbali after graduation i visited my former university studio again and i took a photo then someone was telling me so you connect na your studio and na wewe mwanafunzi ni mwanafunzi mwanangu tu and of course that when they feel i feel like we shall part a kazi exactly you picture post on sunday wow the same same week ananiambia so ni connect nikamwambia hebu angalia studio vizuri ndio akaniambia kumbe ni ya shule nikamwambia wow eh ni ya studio wow si studio ya mtu i again today kwa facebook tena leo tu i shared a memory on my facebook then someone is asking me unafanya kazi station gani kaambie not yet so there are people who are following you yes they follow kuna tu watu wanakuatilia waone uko wapi uko wapi uko wapi yeah and most of them believe that i'm already employed sometimes you d- when you dress casually you dress officially mimi naonanga sometimes inakufanyanga inakupatia favors ambazo hata wewe mwenyewe una hata yeah yeah you dress official sometimes unasikia mtu anakuuliza maswali ambayo hakuna unasikia unafanya kazi wapi in most cases and m- many people are believing that media is a cause ambayo ukishamaliza uki unaitwa kama for example kama unaandikwa na serikali kama sasa unatakuwa kama ni hospitali ama ni police station wapi kama hiyo someone is telling me kwani ujaenda bado bwana anambia hapana kidogo kuna un, you have to educate them that media is not like any any other entity ambayo ukimaliza unaitwa tu kazi you have to look for it anambia ile siku utapata make sure you greet me whether ni tv ama radio why why me. why why because, because that statement has a lot to think about because asama ile siku utapata eh. like what was he meaning how did you took that statement ama he said it in a positive way it is a positive way mm. it's a positive way okay. so they are telling me the day you will be employed mm. remember to greet us in the village Oh. Uh, yeah, even Diego. Now Mama. that is that is in a, in a positive way. Yes. yes. Remember to greet us because we have yeah. seen you ah. through all this life mm. journey that you that you have been wanting to become a journalist. Mm. The day you'll get it make sure you greet us. Anataka kujisikia kwa radio kwamba kuna mtu wa area yake ameusalamia. Ama kwa TV. And you have to fulfill it. I'll, I'll do so. Something that you really have to I'll make do so. sure that you Yes. yes. So people wananichukulia tu kwamba nimeshapata kazi. And it was not until I studied for this course because equal visual impaired people took it as a, a negative way that uwe kijana hawezi soma. Even there is a pastor even somewhere. They let me kwambia hata even a pastor told me the same thing that Sasa hiyo media utaendaje si mimi ningekuwa advice uende education to bad education to club utakuwa na niambia education ambe pastor you know in this world we try yeah we try it give it a try people can really discourage yes, you they will. if you keep on following what people says mm-hmm. it will 
very discouraging. Utapata ni kama you have missed what you were called to do. Yes. Mm. But I'm telling people try it. Give it a, I told that pastor try, let me give it a try. Like in the juice I've been kuja kuniambia ni muone ume graduate. Eh nikamwambia I told you I give it a try. Pastor, yeah, someone pastor who is giving or uh, should be giving someone hope. <laughs> I mean not, I do not want to go there but <laughs> no <laughs> you you are not supposed to discourage mm-hmm. he was supposed you the one when yanafaa kuja kuambie go yes to encourage you to give you that spirit mm-hmm. but yeye bado anaku discourage he's trying to take you away from what you have been called yes yeah so go graduate kwangu juice imefungua macho watu wengi sana it has opened many people's uh, eyes in fact, I, I didn't tell anyone that I was going to graduate. But they saw it on Mitandao. Someone was asking me, So you Nika, just graduated? Bila, bila watu wa nyumbani kujua? Si, uh, si kupeleka watu wa uh, outside sasa. So they were asking me, Mbona huku tupeleka? It's because you never believed. Yeah, they it. never believed. They never believed it. Yeah. So now you have believed. Wow, so you. you proved them wrong. Yes. Yeah. I'll take you next time. When I go for other adva- when I advance in my education, mm. uh, that's when you have believed that now I've graduated. Mm. Uh, so they were telling me, oh no no, no I can't be okay, it is over. So, okay, so people who graduate who came only the families, the yes. relatives. Yes, the rel- but not not but not now from my village. Mm. Yes, I told my mother, uh, if you want to come, it's it's okay, you can come. But uh, what I can tell you is that we can do your graduation. Hata ni chukua basi moja. Watu ni wanaingia graduation sikia ni watu watatu. So I don't see the need of taking anyone to that graduation. Let me uh, welcome my relatives in Nairobi to witness on behalf of you. Your mom didn't come. You, you can tell us. But you could have just paid the transport here for your mom alone. <laughs> but she's the one who said I, I, I cannot waste because uh, aliamini history ya uchumi hiko mbae nini nini. Oh. Then I got 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 I Always, I have a day known as Glad Can't Day. It is being celebrated uh, every 11th November. <laughs> you have a day called Glad Can't Day. Glad Yes. So you know my Facebook name is Glad Dos Santos. Yes. So I have. What does this Glad mean? Glad uh, Let me tell my your 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 you fans. It's a name that was crafted from a lady's name. There was a lady whom, whom I was having a crash on her. Ah. Yes. Okay. Then she was called Gladys. At oh that time. my god. And because uh, you know visual impaired people are very creative. Uh-huh. Nikaenda kuandika hiyo jina chini Gladys. Uh-huh. You know th- th- that time nilikuwa nimekuwa nini ile mtangazaji wa shule tu. So I wanted a name that people will call me. Ile jina ya mtu ataniita jina gani? Unaona? Ile mimi mwenyewe nikitamka nikisema jina langu ni Evans nilikuwa naona ingiane. Nikisema nataka jina ambayo mtu akeniita inaingiana. So this lady alikuwa na mcrush at that time. Nikaenda kuandika andika vitu zangu nikaona jina Gladi nikaondoa YS na nikaweka IC. You see when you put it when you minus YS and you put it IC mm. it sounds Gladic. Mm. Then I said okay this name Gladic it cannot it's not good. Why don't I put AN at the end of it? Same Gladison. No, it's not Gladison. It can be pronounced as Gladican. Let me force everybody to say Gladican. And I went to school and I said, my nickname is Gladikam Dos Santos. Dos Santos came from being a football fan. I follow Manchester United, uh, the team Mumbai, what one are disgraced. So you still it. remember Gladys, wherever she is? Yes. In fact, we always start with her, but I tell her, Jai, your time will repeat. Like, you've never, you've never uh, thought of changing the name? To, to become an A different name. name now? No. Because Gladikam is rooted. Yes, it's rooted. Since 2012. Just imagine from 2012 using that name. Then Dos Santos is just because I follow football and I'm a sports journalist, so I just said Gladican Dos Santos and the name grew and it is where it is now. So kwa sasa, we are the single but searching later on. 
I can see a producer, producer and I'm to mm. Maybe I just want you to summarize to encourage someone out there. Alafu pia unaezaambia kitu kwa wazazi ambao wanafita watoto wenye kwa na ule mama. Uh-huh. Ukimalizia. Okay. Jinsi umesikia um nimesema kwamba kwa disability ama kwa disabled ama kwa na ulemavu wote sio mwisho wa maisha. Kumbuka waswahili walisema kuwa kufunji, kufunjika kwa mwiko sio mwisho wa kufanya nini? Mwisho wa kusonga. E, maana utaenda kukata na kuchonga mwiko mwingine na usongo ugali wako na utaiva. Na hata hiyo mwiko ikifunjika una na ugali baada haijashikana ina unapiga nini? Unapika uji. Unaona? And you have to eat. So kufunjika kwa mwiko sio mwisho wa kusonga. Wazazi ambao wako na wanafunzi ambao wanaishi na changamoto za ulemavu aina yoyote. Nime nimeshuhudia kwa special school in many cases you find wanafunzi ambao especially VI I speak from the perspective of being a visually impaired because I have attended those schools. Unakuta mwanafunzi ni mrefu sana, mkubwa sana. Eh, umri wa around uh, 15 years na bado wako standard 3. Just imagine such things. Ukiuliza wanakuambia walikuwa wali, wali, wali na wonder which special which school atasomea kwanza. Kuna mashule mingi ambazo ni special schools. Just ask and you will be given the directions. Because mimi nime Peter remember I told you earlier in this story that nimeenda kwa shule ambayo ni physically handicapped. Wakidhani kwamba ni special school ya visual impaired. Lakini at the end of the day it was not until nimeelezwa baadaye kwamba kuna shule ambayo ni ya VI na hivyo ndio lesomo. So parents with children who have special needs take them to special schools whatever they want whatever they are so kama ni vi pelekwe vi schools kama ni ph physically handicapped wapelekwe kama ni hearing impaired kama ni mentally handicapped hizo zote hizo take them to the necessary schools and you might not know huyo mwanafunzi ama huyo mtoto wako atakuwa nini baadaye unaona ju me for for my case i play as a i'm a first born in my family and uh, my brothers are looking up to me as a role model kwambe kijana ameenda kwa somesoma wada habari wana habari hivi ni size yako wapi ndio hizo mini kwa hapo size naona so parents take in and take note that you might not know of the result of your child one day one time maana wanasema kesho yako kutengenezwa leo naona kesho yako kutengenezwa leo eh Eh, kukamilisha kipindi hiki bila shaka eh, umesikia kwamba anaitwa Evan Smayo uh, lakini jina ambalo linapatikana mtandao ukienda kule Hope Sako Facebook eh, unanipata kwa Gladican dos Santos eh, na fan page ya GTV Kenya GTV Kenya is my fan page eh, that is Gladican TV but it's known as GTV Kenya I normally tag on my posts So you can just follow me on Facebook uh, Gladican dos Santos GTV then uh, on Twitter on X not actually Twitter it was known as Twitter so on X yes I'm, al- I'm also on Twitter so uh, on X at Gladican underscore dos Santos and then you you can DM me on Facebook Twitter and even Instagram at Gladican underscore dos Santos and um, go to YouTube again I have my YouTube channel you can subscribe it on uh, it's known as GTV Kenya Yes, just search for GTV Kenya 07 and then you'll get it. You can just subscribe on that. So kama kuna mtu anaweza nitafuta kwa simu pia akitaka if he wishes. No, let le- 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 them oh. find you on social on media. On social media, yes. Then you will share their contacts pale. Pale moja kwa yes, moja. Yes, because you are, sometimes we find it so hard to give our numbers live. Live, yes, yes. Yeah. Because mtu atakuwa Because you understand these things are. <laughs> eh. <Yeah>. Uta punde <laughs> sipuno na sikia mtu anakutai mko tao yeah, mko. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So we thank you so much Gladican for making this time to come. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Mm-hmm. I believe someone has learned up there. Bila shaka. You have broken all odds. Yes. So if uh, there is someone living with special needs out there visually impaired, mm-hmm. yeah, they feel like uh, they can't do anything. Mm-hmm. From what we've heard today, from what of the, the story you have shared with us, someone has been encouraged and they the kama ni kuanza safari a different journey yes. then it's now. Yes. Yes. Because I always believe that um, if you write the word impossible Just write it on your mind wherever you are. Write the word impossible. And then 
put an apostrophe on I and M. What does it say? It says that I am ah, possible. I love that. I love that. that. I love that. You so if you write impossible in your mind, yes. and then or put an apostrophe on I and M. On I and M. Yes. And then it is it is says I'm possible. I am possible. Yes. Wow. So it is possible to do anything that you want to do. Mm. Be yourself, be your own boss, as I've said it. Otherwise, eh, Gladi Kando Santos no mefikia papa hapa. Eh, the hope circle. Namtazamaji <laughs> Jani samahani rudi kidogo. Nam mtazamaji. embracing Hope. Remember, we are spreading hope to yes. the hopeless. Bye bye. Adios, muchachos. You say? Adios, muchachos. Adios? Muchachos. That is in Latin. <laughs> we say adios, muchachos. Ah, yeah. See you again yes. for the next episode. All right.